Hi, I'm David. Welcome to Wildlife in Focus. The United Kingdom hosts eight unique species of corvids, which are fascinating members of the bird family. This guide provides valuable species information and identification tips for each of these birds. The carrion crow, scientific name Corvus corone, is a large bird with a heavy build, featuring predominantly black feathers and a large, blunt black beak. These features distinguish the carrion crow from either the similar-sized hooded crow or the rook. Key biometric features of the carrion crow are wing length, 283 to 335 millimeters, weight, 410 to 610 grams. The carrion crow is a common bird species in the British Isles. They are present throughout the year and are highly adaptable thriving in a diverse range of habitats, including agricultural, moorland, woodland and urban environments. Their distribution is widespread across the UK, with the exception of the northern and western regions of Scotland and Ireland, where they are largely replaced by the distinctive hooded crow. These two species can occasionally interbreed, leading to unique colour variations at the edges of their range. Carrion crows are opportunistic feeders with a varied diet that includes carrion, seeds, fruit, grains, and also discarded human food. They will also prey on juvenile birds and eggs of other bird species. They are known to visit garden feeders, often engaging in quick, cautious raids on open bird tables. Although carrion crows are frequently observed alone or in pairs, they tend to gather in larger social groups during the winter months sometimes joining mixed flocks that include rooks and jackdaws. Carrion crows construct nests of sticks in various locations, such as buildings, cliffs, pylons, and trees. Compared to rooks and magpies, they display more secretive nesting habits. They are vocal birds, with their most recognizable call being loud and harsh. The hooded crow, Corvus cornix, was classified as the same species as the carrion crow until 2002. With the benefit of hindsight, we can see that whilst they may be closely related, they are completely different. The hooded crow is the same shape and size of the carrion crow, but they are instantly recognisable by their mixture of black and grey colouring. Key biometric features of the hooded crow are wing length. Similar to carrion crow, up to 335 millimeters. Weight, ranging from 370 up to 650 grams. Hooded crows are extremely adaptable and live in urban, suburban, woodland, mountain, marine, intertidal, wetland, grassland, and pastoral environments. Note that their range is restricted to the north and west of Scotland, as well as Ireland. The hooded crow diet is similar to the carrion crow. They are very successful scavengers, and their diet includes carrion, the eggs and youngsters in bird nests, invertebrates, grain, seeds, and nuts. Not only do they look completely different from the carrion crow, but their social behavioral patterns are the opposite of each other. Hooded crows are very sociable animals and form friendship groups called a murder of crows. These groups look out for one another when searching for food and are fiercely territorial. They breed from March, making large twiggy nests lined with hair and or wool. They prefer to nest in trees and on rocky crags. Their call is similar to that of the carrion crow. <coughs> Rooks scientific name Corvus frugilagus, are large, heavy birds characterized by their black plumage, which exhibits a notable purple sheen, in particular when illuminated by bright sunlight. The beak of adult rooks is grey, distinguished by an even lighter grey area at its base. Note, however, that juvenile rooks have completely black beaks, making them resemble crows. It is therefore necessary to look more closely at the beak of the bird when trying to identify them, as it is longer and appears pointier than that of a crow.
A distinguishing feature on the rook is their rather scruffy looking feathers above their legs, which almost appear like trousers. Key biometric features of the rook are wing length, 290 to 331 millimeters, weight, 370 to 527 grams. They favor pastoral and village environments, but have adapted to inhabit pretty much all environments in the British Isles, with the exception being some areas in the northwest belt of Scotland. Rooks are also opportunistic and resourceful feeders with a varied diet that includes insects, seeds, as well as preying on small birds and eggs, and small mammals. Rooks are sociable birds, often found in large groups throughout much of the year, and you will frequently see them in communal groups feeding, roosting, and nesting in close proximity to one another. This behavior can help you distinguish rooks from crows, but it cannot be relied upon, as you may see lone rooks. In winter, Rooks frequently join other corvids, especially jackdaws, to roost together. Groups of rooks often form murmurations at dawn and dusk. A distinguishing behavior of rooks is that they tend to nest communally in the upper branches of mature trees. These nest sites are called rookeries and are constructed of twigs. They tend to look quite messy and are easily visible during winter months when the deciduous trees are bare. Rooks reuse nest sites year on year. Some sites have been in use for decades. Rooks begin nesting early in the year, and you can sometimes spot them, gathering materials to repair any damage which occurred during the winter months. The rook's call is reminiscent of the crow's, but is typically softer and hoarser. It's not uncommon to hear multiple rooks calling simultaneously. Ravens, Corvus corax, are also known for their impressive black feathers, which similar to the rook, exhibit a glossy metallic sheen. They are significantly larger and bulkier than crows and rooks. In fact, they are the largest of the corvids in the British Isles, similar in size to the common buzzard. A notable distinguishing characteristic of ravens is their powerful, blunt beak and rather shaggy throat feathers. In the air, they can be recognized by their distinctive diamond or wedge-shaped tail. These birds are typically seen in pairs or small family groups, and it is common for males, females, and juveniles to appear quite similar in appearance. Key biometric features of the raven are wing length, up to 422 millimeters, weight, up to 1.7 kilograms, Historically, ravens face persecution as pests on farms and game estates. However, conservation efforts have led to a recovery in their population. They inhabit a range of environments, but favor uplands, moorland, marshes, bogs, and coastal habitats. Spotting one in an urban environment is quite rare. The species feeds predominantly on carrion, but will also prey on insects, small mammals, small birds, and their eggs. Ravens are highly intelligent birds, known for their strong flight capability. They are able to perform aerobatic displays, which they appear to do for fun. You will often see ravens in pairs, and they are a bird known to mate for life. Ravens breed early in the season, typically in February, constructing their nests from twigs and moss. Nest sites include cliff ledges and large trees. They are known to have several favorite nest sites, which they rotate year by year. The call of a raven as a deep, throaty sound. The jackdaw, scientific name Coleus menedula, is one of the smaller members of the corvid family. Their notable features when trying to identify them are the relatively short beak and their blue eyes. The jackdaw coloring is predominantly black, with a distinctive gray hood extending down the back of the head. Both males and females look very similar to one another. Juveniles display a browner hue with darker eyes, 
Key biometric features of the jackdaw are wing length, up to 248 millimeters, weight, up to 265 grams. This bird favors areas in close proximity to human activity and is generally less timid compared to some of the larger corvids. They can, however, be found across a range of habitats, including broadleaf, pastoral, and coastal environments. Jackdaws eat insects, seeds, and fruit, but will also take eggs from other species' nests and prey on young birds. Jackdaws seem to be less afraid of people than most other members of the corvid family. They are frequently seen nesting in urban environments, making their nests on buildings. They will also build nests in tree holes. As with ravens, the jackdaw is another aerobatic flyer, and they can achieve this at higher speeds than their larger cousins. Jackdaws are social birds and will come together to roost, often in groups containing rooks, performing murmurations with them at dawn and dusk. The jackdaw call sounds very much like its name. The Eurasian jay, scientific name Garrulus glandarius, is the most colourful resident corvid. They have a pinkish tinge to their plumage with blue and black barring on their wings. They are particularly noticeable when flying as their barring stands out, together with the flash of white feathers on their rump. Once they are settled in a tree, it can be quite tough to make them out. Despite their bright colours, they are quite good at blending in. Key biometric features of the Eurasian jay are wing length up to 192 millimeters, weight up to 189 grams. Jays favor broadleaf, conifer, and scrub environments. As shy birds, they favor environments where there is plenty of cover. They can, however, be seen across a range of environments, including urban and suburban. Jays are well known for their love of acorns, burying them during the autumn and then retrieving them during the winter. They will also eat other nuts, seeds and insects, as well as predating upon the nests of smaller birds and even small mammals. These birds are very cautious, especially around humans, and will typically fly at the smallest sign of human presence. Eurasian jays begin breeding from the age of two. A nest is constructed by both parents on a fork or branch of a tree near the main trunk. They have also been known to nest in buildings. The nest is constructed from twigs and lined with grass, moss and leaves. You are often likely to hear jays before you see them. They have a very distinctive, raspy call, which often coincides with several jays being on the move. Magpies are distinctive birds known for their shiny black and white feathers, long tails, and curious nature. Except for jays, they are perhaps the most instantly recognisable of the UK resident corvids. When observed up close, the black plumage of the bird displays a purplish-blue iridescent sheen on the wing feathers and a green gloss on the tail. Key biometric features of the magpie are wing length, up to 198 millimeters. Weight, up to 254 grams. Magpies are common across most of Britain and Ireland, except for the northern and northwestern parts of Scotland. In the past, they were heavily hunted in Britain, but their numbers increased in the late 20th century as hunting decreased. They can be found in a diverse range of habitats, but similar to the jackdaw, seem to favour human populated areas. The magpie is a professional scavenger and will happily consume scraps of food either donated or discarded by humans. They are omnivores and will eat insects like beetles, flies, caterpillars, worms and spiders. Magpies will also consume berries and seeds when available and similar to our other corvids will occasionally prey on small birds and their nests. When food is abundant, they tend to hoard it and store it in man-made structures like gutters or the eaves of houses. Magpies can be quite playful, 
often pulling and shaking objects found in your garden. Young magpies may form small flocks, especially in winter, when some adults may join them. These birds are known to sound the alarm when they spot predators such as owls, foxes, cats, and raptors. Interestingly, magpies may hold funerals for deceased magpies. Nesting-wise, magpies build dome-shaped nests in a variety of locations, including trees, shrubs, utility poles, and even abandoned buildings. Their most recognizable call is a repeated chack-chack, often made when excited. Magpies can also mimic the sounds of other animals, including humans. The chuff, Pyrocorax pyrocorax, is easily identified by its red downcurved bill and matching red legs. Also, if you get a close look at an adult bird, there is a hint of scarlet in their eyes. The chuff shares the familiar black feathers as many of the other corvids. They are the slimmest of all the corvids in the British Isles. They are also somewhat of a rarity, with only an estimated 300 or so resident breeding pairs. Key biometric features of the chuff are wing length, up to 303 millimeters, weight, up to 370 grams. The chuff can only be found on the westerly coastlines of the British Isles. They inhabit rocky landscapes such as mountains and sea cliffs. The chuff's diet consists of insects and larvae. The chuff is another skillful corvid in flight and can sometimes be seen performing dramatic aerial displays. Unusually, compared to our other corvids, they prefer to breed in coastal caves. Adult chuffs have a call similar to that of a jackdaw. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this. It really helps the channel.